Welcome to Exploring Nature with Children. This week it's vernal equinox or spring equinox, which is really exciting. So let's get exploring. Spring equinox or vernal equinox is halfway between winter solstice and summer solstice. So it's when there is an equal amount of day and night time. It's amazing because it's perfectly balanced and it happens around the 20th of March. This idea of the exact amount of day and night, of light and dark, leads us into our first craft activity, where what we've done is used a piece of A4 paper and then we've cut a different coloured piece of paper in half. This means we can cut up our piece of paper into a picture and then you can arrange them on the page, making sure to use every single piece and you've got an exact amount of light and dark. These are really fun pictures to make and you can use whatever colours you like. Do share what you get up to in our Facebook group for your equal pictures of day and night for balancing for the spring equinox. As I sit here balanced on this star, you could say your pictures are very balanced because you've got the same amount of two different colours. And spring equinox is also very balanced because you've got the same amount of light and dark. However, this balance is constantly changing between light and dark. And here's a really fun experiment that you could try out to show balance using light and a candle. If you take a candle and you put a cocktail stick through the middle of it very carefully and then light both ends, then what you can see is this amazing balance with weight. As the candle burns, it drips wax, which means one end will be heavier and one end will be lighter. Because this is constantly changing which end is lighter and which end is heavier due to how quickly they're burning the wax, the candle goes up and down. A bit like how day and night changes, however this is going much, much faster. So our style is balanced, our light and dark is balanced. Are there any other things you can think of in nature that are balanced? And that often you find that balance can unsettle easily, a bit like how day and night changes. At the moment it's the only time it's actually equal, but it's constantly changing. Here's another great example of somewhere to do some careful balancing to make sure I don't fall in as I cross the river. Another example of something that always has to remain balanced but is constantly changing is water. So if there is too much water, the fields around us will flood. But if there's too little water, the plants won't be able to grow. So it's a very careful balance, maintaining the right amount of water. We've spoke a lot about balance. However, although there is currently a very equal balance between day and night, it's always changing. And at the moment, we know it's changing to more light because if we look all around us, we can start to see leaves bursting out on trees from their buds and flowers popping up from the ground. If you listen carefully, you might even hear the bee I just saw buzzing around. And that's because with more light, the trees can photosynthesize more, the animals aren't as cold and don't need to hibernate anymore, and there's lots of activity going on all around us. If you download our Global Daylight Hours pack, you'll be able to visualise what the day and night changes look like around the world. So you can start by doing this for spring equinox, where you colour in a 24-hour clock, colouring the amount of daylight and then the night time. But you can do this for cities all around the world, showing at spring equinox they're equal. You could then try this for the summer solstice and winter solstice to see how the daylight changes. I wasn't sure if we would find any daffodils today, so it's really exciting to see them coming alive and bringing the signs of spring. And this sets us off perfectly for a three, two, one challenge. So could you find three signs of spring? Can you think of two things that balance in nature? 
And finally, can you do something where you do some balancing? Here is a perfect place to practice some balancing to get over this style. What can you find out and about on a walk to practice your balancing or maybe around your home? You could even try standing on one leg. If you'd like to make a balanced craft activity, you could try out our Spring Mobile. You can download this off the Twinkle website and it's got all the templates you need. You simply then can cut these out and put them on some string and then hang to make a wonderful balanced Spring Mobile. Thank you so much for joining me as we have explored nature and what's going on during the spring equinox. Don't forget to download all our amazing Twinkle resources. You'll find the link below. And we look forward to seeing you again soon for more exploring nature fun.